Hi, my name is Gabby and I am a Civic Innovation Apprentice with Beta NYC. I'm here today to introduce you to the New York City People's Tech Assemblies. The New York City People's Tech Assemblies is a dedicated space for New Yorkers to share issues and ideas that they and their communities are facing. Throughout the COVID-19 pandemic, the digital divide, role of technology, and need for human-centered government services has been ever-present. Those who were not connected and not privy to a digital education were left behind. In January 2022, New York City will inaugurate a newly elected mayor, comptroller, public advocate, city council, and five borough presidents. We have an opportunity to come together and share our collective ideas and questions on how technology can and will shape the future of New York City. Eight years ago, New Yorkers gathered together to outline a comprehensive idea for public interest technology. This led to new government accountability laws, strengthened our municipal open data program, and forced the city to publish more data. This vision created a civic tech fellowship and apprenticeship program that I am now a part of. Do you have ideas on how New York City government uses tech? Make your voices heard via the New York City People's Tech Assemblies. Come join us. To get started, let's go to our digital platform, peoplestech.nyc. Once you land on the homepage, you'll see a variety of sections at the top of your screen. There's home, where we are currently, projects, events, about, and FAQ. If you are not signed into your account, you'll see the sections log in and sign up. In my case, you do not see these sections because I am already signed in to my Citizen Lab account. I'm going to walk you through what all these parts of the website mean, in addition to showing you the different ways that you can share your voice as part of the New York City People's Tech Assemblies. Throughout the homepage, you'll see a selection of cards. These are all different ways to share your voice. Let's click on the first card. Take the community survey. Okay, so we are now on the community survey page. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and you will see the survey, which contains a dark blue background. It is here that you can take the survey. Keep in mind that you do not need a registered Citizen Lab account to take the survey. Once you click start, you are now on your way to lending your voice in an easy and vital way. The survey should take you about 10 minutes to complete. If you'd like, you can also share an issue or idea. To start, scroll back to the top of the web page and click on the project section on the top left-hand corner and select a topic of interest. Keep in mind, these are the same topics we saw listed on the homepage. Let's head to Civic and Community Empowerment. On this topic page, you will see a summary of the topic on the top or left-hand side, depending on the size of your browser. Along the right-hand side or below, there are subtopic area cards. This is where you can share your contributions. If you have an issue or idea that you want to share, 
that does not match an existing contribution card, you can share your contribution in the general contribution card called your issues, challenges, and proposals. Click contribute your input on the general card and you can start a new conversation. In our case, let's contribute to an idea to revolutionizing elections with technology. Click contribute your input on the top right-hand side of that card. Once you have clicked contribute your input on a contribution card, you will be taken to that contribution homepage. The page will have details on the topic, some starter prompts, and an update of the various stages of the project. Once you're ready to share your issue or idea, click Add a Contribution located on the right-hand side. Now, you'll be prompted to create an account on our platform to, to engage in the future with ease. Fill out the information and feel free to skip any information that is not marked as required if you don't feel comfortable sharing. During registration, we ask for your name, email address, and to create a password. You can ensure that your password meets the qualifications by hovering over the gray icon next to the password field. Once you finish the first part of the registration, you will receive an email asking you to verify your email by inserting a four digit confirmation code. Afterwards, there will be a short optional set of demographic questions. Once you complete the questions, you're all set. Now that you have created your account, you are ready to share your contribution. Enter the title and a description of your issue, and be sure to include any relevant background information that you wish. Do not share any personal information, such as addresses, phone numbers, email addresses, date of birth, and so on. Once completed, hit submit. You have now shared your contribution. Once you have submitted your contribution, it will be listed on the contribution page where you shared it. All you need to do is scroll down to the bottom of the web page to see it. Now, other New Yorkers will be able to see it and add their thoughts or support. Your voice will now be heard. All the shared issues and ideas will be used by the People's Tech Coalition to craft the solutions our city needs. Let's head over to the events page. To start, click on the events section on the left-hand side. Once you arrive on the page, you'll see a listing of upcoming events as well as past events. To find out more information about an event, Click on Show More, if available, which is located on the bottom left-hand side of each event card. If you're curious about the overall scope of the New York City People's Tech Assemblies, you want to check out the About page. To do so, click on the About section on the left-hand side. Once you arrive on the page, you'll see a summary of the project, guidance on how to get started on Citizen Lab, and a biography of all the organizations involved with this project. Now, if you have any questions about Citizen Lab, be sure to head over to the FAQ section, also on the top of your screen. Once you click on the FAQ section, you'll find your most commonly asked questions 
answered. That's all for now. We hope to hear your voice and would love your help in spreading the word about this opportunity with your friends and neighbors. If you want your input to be sent to the incoming administration, opportunities to engage close November 14th. So don't delay in getting online and involved. Thank you for joining me today and happy surfing. Take care.